began like 10 years ago. It was like only a hobby. We, we decided to, to do something together. And we came, we came from different fields, economics and design. But we found that we had an opportunity beginning to uh, understand how uh, to, to market the LGBT community. So that was the beginning, and after, two years after that, we created like a small networking event. Mm. We never thought it was going to be Gene at World 360 yeah. today. We invited 40 people, and more than 200 came to that uh, event. Wow. We knew that we had to do something more important. And uh, year after year, and with the support of the Tourism Office of Argentina, because now we are co-organizing the event with the Infratour, uh, we are uh, organizing G Network 360 for the seventh edition in 2014. Mm -hmm. And in the last edition, we have received more than 1,400 people. Wow. Most of them, I would say 70% from Argentina and countries, neighbor, neighbor countries, uh, but if we count all the countries that attended, all the delegates were from more than 16 countries. Wow. It's incredible. Now. It's yeah. important to say that this event is for free for everybody because we received the support from the different sponsors and of course from the, the government uh, because we want to, to keep on investing in our community, in our um, uh, country because we, we need more uh, more events, more destinations interested in, in LGBT tourism. So that's why this is still free for everybody. Well, all you have to get is your accommodation and your effort there yeah. because uh, we, don't, we don't charge any fee of registration during the three days. Everything is free of charge for any business who is interested to market LGBT community. And well, as, you, as I told you, year by year, we are getting more interest, not only in Argentina, but in the region. Um, so, and most of the people that we are seeing and listening here uh, have been presented as well in South America in yeah. our event. We have organized a few editions in Mexico and in Brazil, but we have decided to focus more in Argentina now, so year after year you would see that it would grow in Buenos Aires. <laughs> we love our Lord. It's the fourth time we came here. The first time was like almost nine, almost ten years ago when we met a IGLTA organization, yeah. and we have been to many, and, and, and even the first event of Tom Ross, it was like seven years ago, I think, we came to that event as well. You know how uh, our uh, international uh, business started in Fort Lauderdale? Yes. Wow. And, and yes. as a matter of fact, that event was, and Tom was kind of our inspiration, because after uh, we saw what he was doing, we began to learn and to try to make our Latino version. Mm. Yeah. And meanwhile, we created the LGBT Chamber of Commerce in Argentina. So um, that was the beginning of our job with the tourism office of our, of our country. So that's why we travel a lot, because we, we want to, to promote our country all around the world for LGBT community. For, for us, uh, community marketing conferences are always the best uh, event and for, uh, it's a must for us. We can cancel other actions, we can, but we cannot uh, miss this, this event. Uh, we always know what is, what's new, we always know new or key findings of their new research. service or research. Uh, we, we were very close to Thomas Roth and his uh, team and, and we really we always learn a lot yes. from uh, Tom, David, and all the speakers. Uh, imagine in Latin America, uh, uh, 
the LGBT market is pretty new. Mm -hmm. So that's why we are learning from the states and of course from CMI. Um, that's why that's why we keep on coming, um, learning, and following what a Tom is doing. We receive absolutely different uh, kind of businesses. Eighty percent, mo or most of them, belong to the tourism industry. Okay. But we have even I don't know uh, small um, clinics of uh, healthcare, like uh, how do you say surgery? Um, oh. When you want, when you want Botox and all that, I don't know. I don't oh, know. plastic surgery. Plastic yeah. surgery. Okay. We have a small companies dedicated to plastic surgery for tourists. Okay. Or we have a, a educational uh, institutes like the institute that for le to learn Spanish, Spanish. in oh. Argentina. Tango uh, Tango. Yes, we have different kind of uh, members, and yeah. different kind of delegates. Uh, but if I have to tell you the truth, eighty percent are. Hotels owners, uh, small business owners, big companies. Uh, for instance, one of the founder, founding members of uh, our chamber was Delta Airlines from the United States. Wow. So uh, it's it's a, a wide range of. Uh, Sounds like a blast down there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's really fun, and every year we try to surprise people with something different. Up to now, we are doing okay. I hope the 2014 will be much better. In 14, what we are thinking is we will dedicate one day not only for travel and tourism or LGBT tourism, but also to diversity and inclusion in the workplace. Like Auda, it's, it's like a small, small, small version of Auda Nicole in, in yeah. the US. Yeah. Imagine that it's the, just the beginning of something because a lot of or lots of corporations are really interested to work with the LGBT community and to recruit and to have or, or to keep their LGBT employee. So we have decided to create a employment fair for LGBT students in different universities and the last day will be dedicated not only to tourism but also to inclusion and diversity in the workplace that's great beside that as we told you we were the first lgbt chamber in, in south america and now we are on four or five maybe oh, so okay. that, that's why during our our event we gather all lgbt chamber of commerce of latin america to start working together to promote the whole region all around the world and to, to connect companies, to connect uh, business owners. Um, so we started to work like a, a, a group group of companies in Latin America, South America. Um, I will tell you one that is uh, great to visit is um, Bogota, for instance, in Latin America, other than Argentina. I will, if I have to tell you, of course, Buenos Aires, Mendoza. But, but other to, if I don't mention Argentina, Bogota is a great destination, and it's not very known uh, for the rest of the LGBT community. It's, I think, one of the emergent destinations. We are working very close with them because uh, Colombians, they really love Argentina. And when we have to focus on different markets, budget are not uh, limited, so we have to focus on different markets. And Colombia was one of the markets we found that were really eager to, mm. to go to Argentina. Mm. When we went there, when we began to re do some research, uh, we found it, we, f we fall in love with Colombia. Mm. And we, we know that it's going to be one, like Rio was, like maybe Cancun. Mm. I know that Bogota and all the Cartagena um, will be a, the, the new one. And now in Colombia, you can come to the LGBT chamber too. Um, so that, that, that's why I think what, what is happening in Latin America is that uh, are kind of waking up about all LGBT business, LGBT tourism. So I, I think uh, Argentina was the first country uh, uh, where you can get married. So I think even, that, that was even the, being tourism, tourists, yeah. you don't need to, to marry an Argentinian mm. to foreigners can come to the our country can get married in less than five days 
um, because they have the same civil rights as any Argentinian. Come to get married to Argentina. That's your, oh, you know, I think that would be a fabulous destination wedding. It some, really would. And something else, because I told you about Bogotá, but uh, to tell you the truth, I have, we, we, why we come here is to promote our country. Right. And we know that Buenos Aires maybe is between, among the 10 to a dozen of really well-known gay cities in the world. Mm -hmm. But after the work we have been doing during the last five, seven years, we now have a very well positioned Mendoza, Iguazu, Bariloche and, Bariloche and um, Icalafate, for instance. And we are measuring and we, year by year, we are experiencing the increasing of LGBT visitors in those destinations. So that was uh, like uh, something that helped us to encourage the rest of the destination to, to work on this. Yeah. So even those destinations who have not done anything yet, they are now interested to work with our community. You have to imagine a European city in, Latin, Aires. in Latin America, yeah. Yeah. especially with Buenos Aires. Sounds way better. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> a, it, it, I know that maybe it sounds like arrogant, but when you go there, you never Imagine that you are going to experience a, a, a European city in the middle of the Latin America. Maybe the rest of the country has their own personality and different cities, different uh, because we we have from jungle to to snow. Yeah, to snow. Yeah. Which, uh, At the same time, it's a big country. But uh, focusing on the more important city in gay terms is Buenos Aires. And then we have a few big cities with gay life. And lots, lots, lots of cities with lots of interest things to, to see. If you are interested more in nightlife, maybe you can prefer to stay in Buenos Aires. Uh, but if you love uh, nature, maybe you can go to other destinations inside the country. Um, Besides that, what, what how can you say Vendimia Gay? In yes, for instance, in Mendoza, that maybe is, is well known just because of Malbec everywhere. But Mendoza has. They have uh, the, the second largest gay party in Argentina. Yeah. Right after gay pride in Buenos Aires, that uh, gather maybe 200,000 people every November. Okay. In March, the first or second week of March, they celebrate a, what he calls Vendimia Gay, is Vendimia. gay harvest. It's wow. after the traditional harvest that is celebrated the first week, the next week is celebrated gay harvest. Almost five years At the beginning, 18 years ago, it was like a small and uh, like hidden party. Today is as important as the traditional one and wow. everyone is attending the other one. So now we receive like 40% of the attendees are uh, foreigners, huh? Chileans, Peruvian, Uruguayan, Brazilian, etc. I, I would say only one and I know that I will repeat what we have listened to many times here, is to be authentic. If we are really authentic, our community perceives that. If we try to sell them something like, to put like our rainbow flag, we know when they just want our money. So being authentic, we don't need other things but, but that. We, if we have good products and we are authentic, we have and success for sure. Other. Respect each other. Yes. Thank you, Pablo, Gustavo, for being here and taking the time with me. It was really my pleasure, and I appreciate that we got the chance to sit down and enjoy the rest of your time here. Thank you Enjoy the States, and I hope to see you down in Buenos Aires you know, at some point. Maybe. Okay, yeah. that's a deal. Yep. Gracias. Okay. See you then. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.